Good evening, Dubai. We are back again to brighten up your screens with all that glitters in Dubai. So whether it's a new product making its way into our lives or a recently opened fashion store or someone who's celebrating their success, we at High Lab Dubai have it covered for you. An eclectic mix of new ideas are constantly mushrooming in Dubai. Even though the world has been lamenting about a global slowdown, luxury brands and the big names are still keen to enter our shows for business alliances and that says a lot. So tonight's episode is dedicated to all things new, all the wonderful brands that are being made available to us in Dubai. And you'll be surprised that in one month, there are so many high-end events here. Really, this city never sleeps. Take a look. First, let's go to Penhaligon Perfume launch. उसके बाद देखते हैं डिप्टिक स्टोर की ओपनिंग वी हैव समथिंग दैट विल इंटरेस्ट ऑल क्रूज लवर्स एंड नो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉम क्रूज इज द रॉयल करीबियन इंटरनेशनल मेड इन वॉइज टू द मिडल ईस्ट इन शोर्स देन वी स्पीड आर वे इन टू द न्यू मेजराटी ग्रैंड कैब्रियो लॉन्च Panadali Supermax the razor blade giant has left London to set up their global headquarters right here in Dubai followed by the super glam high fashion event under the shadow of the Burj Al Arab So come along with me as we party hop our way through the evening and uncover the freshest and the finest of what Dubai has to offer exclusively on High Life Dubai say that fragrance is liquid emotion and i tend to agree certain aromas have the power to transport you to some distinct memories tonight we are taking you to witness the launch of amaranthine penhaligon's new luxury fragrance right here in dubai Penhaligon's London was founded way back in 1870 by Mr. William Penhaligon, who was hairdresser and perfumer to Her Highness Queen Victoria. With this rich heritage and an archive of formulations, it's no surprise that Penhaligon's London still has huge appeal to modern fragrance wearers while still retaining a unique heritage feel. While their head of marketing Emily Maven was in Dubai for a short visit, we made it a point to catch up with her to know some more inside details about this brand. We've just launched uh, a newest fragrance, Amaranthine, which launched in the UK at the end of the last year and is just launching here now. Uh, that was created by a perfumer called Bertrand Duchafour, who's a French perfumer, very creative. Uh, he's very quickly become uh, a celebrity, I suppose, in the fragrance world. He's a really incredible guy, um, very inspirational to work with. We love working with him, uh, very funny. And Amaranthine really started as, uh, we wanted something very sensual, a very sensual nighttime fragrance for, for a woman. Uh, lots of our fragrances are very beautiful, very pure, very crisp, um, like Bluebell, like Lily of the Valley. So we wanted something with a bit more depth uh, and a bit more warmth to it, so we briefed him and Amaranthine was the end result. 
In Dubai, the most popular fragrance for men is a fragrance called Indimian. It's uh, a beautiful fragrance. It's got coffee at the heart. It's very, very soft. It's quite sweet, but it's also, sh it's also sharp. We call it a fragrance of contrasts. So it kind of, it veers from one side to the other. So it's quite different and it changes very much on different people's skin. So you get a different experience. Uh, that's very popular here. Um, and for women, it's Artemisia, which is probably our most romantic fragrance. It's very pretty, it's very light, it has uh, nectarine, so it's got a little bit of a fruity bite to it as well. Um, and it's a really, it's a really soft, beautiful summer, summer fragrance. Dubai always welcomes quality products and when they are packed with so much of culture and history, it makes it all the more interesting. And here's your favourite part. Three lucky viewers can take home one bottle each of Penhaligon's new fragrance, worth 435 dirhams, which has contemporary and sensual aroma. All you have to do is answer this simple question. And the question is, who founded the fragrance house Penhaligon's London? A. William Penhaligon B. Tom Penhaligon C. Jane Penhaligon. Send in your answers to win at highlabdubai.ae or go on our website, click on competition and answer the simple question. And while we are on the subject of fragrances, High Life Dubai is taking you to yet another perfumed venue. This time, it's the Paris-based company Diptych, which produces a line of scented candles, bath products and perfumes. The House of Diptych introduced its first scented candle in 1963, which also marked the beginning of an extensive repertoire of fragrances. Inspired by nature and travel, the forgotten taste of a particular fruit, the headiness of an exotic spice, sweet and delicately scented flowers, and subtle notes of woods, Diptych has its distinctive, unmistakable personality which suits any mood. Diptych's Chief Operating Officer Sophie Lambert has been in the luxury products and cosmetics for over 11 years and was visiting Dubai for the official launch at the Dubai Mall and we couldn't resist the opportunity to meet with her. First of all, what you must know is all our candles uh, and all our products are made in France. There is a big tradition, as you know, in France of perfumery and Diptyx is also part of this tradition, working with the best perfumers and uh, the candles of Diptyx uh, are made with excellent concentrates of fragrances. It's a, very, it's a very technical process, of course, to make this perfect quality of candle, but the, as Sophie stated, one of the very important aspects is the raw material that we use. The different kind of waxes depending on the candle, and most, the most important aspect is obviously the fragrance. Uh, fragrance for diptych is something extremely important. Uh, our, our faithful customers expect some quality of fragrance from diptych, and that makes really the difference between our product, our candles, and what you can find on the market is really the quality of the raw material. We want our range to be balanced between home and body. We've developed recently a very nice body product, but we don't forget that our roots are also very much into candles. And uh, we want this range to be very much balanced between the two universes. The fact that luxury products from the fashion capitals of the world are constantly eager to make their presence felt in Dubai is indeed a positive sign for our economy. Now for the fun part. Diptych wants to give three lucky viewers an exquisite candle worth 265 dirhams each. Just answer the simple question. And the question is, what's the main line of business for Diptych? A. Perfumes B. Creams C. Scented candles. Send in your answers to win at highlabdubai.ae or go on our website, click on competition and answer the simple question. 
a break now, but let's be back soon for some brilliance of the sea and some glamour on wheels. See you in a bit. After the break, let's go over to the cruise liner of the Royal Caribbean International as they venture to Middle Eastern shores, after which luxury brand Maserati adds a new member to their deluxe family.